I'm just gonna show you this. It has taken so long, but for now, take a look at this view. Well, this is like a bit weird. So, we're gonna get us somewhere then. I'll show you guys what's up, okay? If they keep on going at that speed across the river, they're not gonna get anywhere. What's going on, everybody? Bloody hell, what a background that is. Okay, so you might have noticed that me and Josh have been in the car basically. So, let me just say now, Josh has got a new car, and I'm just gonna show you guys. You can just see him in the corner there. He has got a Fiat Punto Evo. I'll tell you what, Josh, the wheels, I noticed them here. That's not off me. I was going to say, to be fair, That's th not this me. is not that bad. Someone else has had this car before him, and it did smell like a druggie's car. Yeah. It, yeah, so you can kind of guess what kind of owner it was before. And this is what it looks like from the front. So, yeah, that's pretty much all it is. <laughs> For those of you who are actually interested in the interior, this is what it looks like. It's literally just standard stuff, pretty much. Gas, brake, blim and clutch there, because this is a manual, not an automatic. You've got a... Uh, what the f*** has happened there? Did the previous owner just lose aggression in their left foot and just start kicking the shit out of the car? Do you want to see me random couples in the back? Random couples in the back, okay. Yeah, watch. Look down by the door. Oh shit, that's <laughs> sick, that! That's so, so random. Hang on, you usually have your blimmin' cup holders there, don't you? Yeah. But that's... Uh, that's just for the... whatever. Josh, I'm stealing your car now. So, so yep, bye bye. And obviously the main thing to do with a car, any car owner will understand, is an aux cord. Oh, parking up, alright Josh, see you later. Oh, is he coming back? And yes he is, now he's gonna absolutely floor it. Because he thinks he's Dominic Toretto. I'm literally just about to get the funniest barbershop names done. I've got the tripod set up right there. And you might be wondering, where on earth is my chair? Yep, right there. Right, let's see how this goes. It is currently the next week, it is like 2nd of September. And I've literally got the house to myself for a week and I didn't even expect this, but Josh is around basically so while he's around like just for the day pretty much we're gonna get some videos done so this video will be up way after them videos are up so yeah hope you guys enjoy them a few inches later all right so about half an hour 45 minutes later our videos are done and it actually went pretty well didn't it it genuinely did go pretty well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it has taken so long i've literally been doing this since april it is now september Th it is the third of september and i have finally Passed a freaking theory exam. Thank God. I got by the multiple choice. I got 45 out of 50, and you need 43 to pass. And for the hazard perception, it is a 44 out of 75. You need to get 44 to pass, and I got 60. It's about bloody time. I've literally just done a video now of when I gave like my best tips and stuff. It was a bit of like being realistic and a bit of a joke. So yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Boy, I'm so happy. All right, everyone. So a while ago on my videos, I did used to give my opinion on like the new was cars that had came out so it hasn't actually been out but Bugatti have broken the world record the miles per hour basically they have smashed 300 miles an hour on a track 300 miles an hour the next thing I actually do want to talk about is there is a brand new Porsche that's just that has been revealed that is the Porsche I always get names wrong. Taycan, Taycan, whatever it is. And holy shit. Okay, straight away from the front, it reminds me of a Porsche 918. It's Porsche's first electric car. Oh man. Yeah, there's gonna be more and more cars going electric now, isn't there? To not damage the environment as much. Well, that's no fun, man. I'll put images of the brand new Porsche on the screen, so yeah. I think it looks incredible. All right, so it's currently a Thursday, and I don't know why I'm just craving a Subway right now. I, I don't even know when the last time I had a Subway was. So let's go get a Subway then. Rudolph the Renault's Reindeer. Steve-o the Renault's little shit. All right, once the wait is done, I'm now actually, wait a second. Hmm. Call me back, where else a second? I'm gonna try and show you the view from up there. So, hang on. 2,000 years later. Oh. And there is another view, basically. So yeah, look at that view in the back on there. And I'll tell you one thing as well. I love rock climbing, if you couldn't tell. For your information as well, this bridge is called the Swing Bridge in Newcastle. <laughs> and then you've got the view of that 
to the left, which is absolutely incredible. And all together, right, the main part of Newcastle goes through the gate, so there's about seven bridges. So if you are enjoying these extremely informational tips about Newcastle, leave a thumbs up and subscribe. It'll help us out. But for now, take a look at this view. I'm coming home, Newcastle. I may as well have been in jail. All right, I'll now go on to the other side and show you the view from there because I think it's a little bit better. For a bottle of your own brown ale, I'm coming home, Newcastle. If you never win the cup again, I'll pray the dark at St. James's Park. If the gala get in the rain, I'm coming home. And it's starting to rain again. This literally looks like a slender movie right now. This literally looks like a horror film right now. All right, I was literally going to town to get a subway. I ended up going to town, getting a subway, walking around the whole entire city pretty much, then ended up waiting about an hour or so for a Lambo, biggest waste of time, then I ended up going for a drink with someone who, who I haven't seen in ages, but it's been good. Oh yeah, I still got these two just chilling here. If you have seen my Christmas videos, then this will make sense. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so just before I do end off this video, it's currently a Tuesday. It's the 10th of September. It is, it's September already. Like, how fast has this year gone? Anyway, so those of you that have been on my channel for a while, it'll be familiar hearing that I went to town on a Saturday, like just to have a look at cars, and that's what I did. But before I did go into there, as I was on the bus, I came over this bridge called the Ridge of Bridge. Now, for those of you that don't know what that is, it's basically one of the seven bridges that transfers from Newcastle over to Gateshead that holds pedestrians, cyclists, and motoring vehicles. So as I was coming along that bridge on Saturday afternoon, I noticed some fire engines and some police cars like on the right side of it and I was like what on earth's happening here and then I saw some people looking down and then I thought okay someone's definitely like jumped off or something like that I get half along the bridge and I see someone sitting on the outside of the bridge outside the railings with his feet dangling ready to jump off and it made me just realize that people that are still alive now just need to appreciate more of life pretty much because not everyone else is in the same position as everyone else some people are living their life they're rich as hell they're going on holidays to dubai while some people are still living in the streets wondering if anyone still loves them i just wanted to quickly like put this video on to just say anyone who's actually going through this kind of like situation just talk to someone just talk to someone because it can literally change your life you don't even realize it you're not alone there's millions of people going through the same thing that you're going through i think that's where i'm gonna end this video i hope you all have enjoyed it if you have smashed that thumbs up please consider subscribing if you're new and i'll catch you all on the video take care